encouraging everybody to take those pills. You can drop them at any police station, right, Jim Farrell, and get them out of the house. Everybody knows about Robitussin, and kids are going on robo trips now. They drink two bottles of Robitussin, and it's like acid. And these kids, we lost a young girl, an only child, 16 years old, ODing on Robitussin. So we have to be a rare community. We have to work together. We need more than anything access to inpatient care. When you're addicted to heroin or any opiates, it's not a one day ordeal. And also we have Zaboxin, and we like people, sometimes they put people on Zaboxin, but it doesn't have to be a lifetime journey. So right now, we have to invest money, we have to have access, we have to work as a community, we have to not judge people that are addicted, we have to bring them into our arms as a community, and we have to do as much as we can to save lives and to educate our children when they're young. This should start in the first grade. We need to talk about it. We need to talk about the dangers of drugs. We have to talk about you know, illness and, and the appropriate way to use pain medications. And this is a discussion that I know Marty from Catholic Charities is someplace around here. There's Marty, and Marty wants that to happen in every school in Sullivan County and in Orange County. So I think we should support Marty and Catholic Charities in the quest to educate our children. Thank you.